So what is cloning? Today I'm going to show you guys how to clone and talk a little bit about what cloning is. Um, here you can see I've got three, and I'll put these up to the camera a little bit later, but the, these are three wisteria vines. We actually clone those from the mother plant. So we get into that here. I've got uh, a piece. I'm going to show you how to actually clone and what we do to clone plants. But uh, basically it's taking a cell or a group of cells or a cutting or a plant, in this case plants we're talking about today, and we're going to make an exact replica of the parent plant. So this is important in fruit trees, important in top plants to get a replica of that plant and not really take from seeds. So I'm going to talk about that today. We're going to get right into this video, so thanks for stopping by. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Let's get right into it, guys. So what I've got is I've got a cutting today. I've got a cutting of a, a red curl willow. And then I've got a cutting of a wisteria vine. So there you go. I've got one that's prepped. This is going to take place for us to get to this point where they're actually sprouting. So see I've got a clone here. A wisteria plant here growing right now. So basically what you're going to do is I'm going to start off with the uh, willow tree here. This is a red curl willow tree. It's real beautiful and uh, it's a hot item on the farm. So basically what I'm going to do, if you can see this, there are nodes or buds ready to go this spring. About every inch. And what we want to do is we want to be cognizant of where those um, buds are. So basically what I'm going to do is, in order to clone this, I want an exact copy of this tree. Oh, I should tell you this too. Um, these pruners here, before you start, you kind of want to have, you don't want any fungus problems. Um, so what I do is I just take some rubbing alcohol and before I start, this is very key, is you want a clean working environment. Take some rubbing alcohol, put it on a paper towel, and just rub down your cutters or whatever you're going to be using to cut into the plant. I mean, whether it's a razor blade or whatever you're using. And I just rub that up. Disinfect it. Get everything off the end of those blades so you're not cutting into the plant and causing a disease right off the get-go. So, um, Rubbing alcohol is nice. It, it dries real quick. So here we go. So what I like to do is on, on the... Willows, I cut up about four, I count up about four, one, two, three, four. There's four buds there, and then I cut in the middle of that. So basically what we have, and you gotta always make sure that you've got the buds planting, or when you're planting them or cloning them, the buds are facing up. If they're facing down, this won't work. So this bottom bud right here is what we're gonna target. This is gonna be the start of our root. So next step is I take a little bit of Clonex. Cloning gel, it's rooting gel. You can also use a fast root powder. Um, and I probably could use the powder on the willow. For the harder to root plants, you want to use this Clonex gel. It's like three times more potent than the uh, powder. So, and it attaches to the uh, plant a little bit better. So in this case, we'll just use the rooting gel. And I would not want to get this on my fingers. If you get it on your fingers, make sure you wash right away. Basically what I'm going to do is just take a teaspoon. Just like medicine. I drop it in the teaspoon there. Okay. And we were expecting technical difficulties in this video because that's how we roll. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. The camera actually fell, but here we go. It looks like almost like Dimatap, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, so that's what we have. We've got our rooting gel in a spoon, and it makes it easy to work with a spoon. So like I said, this is going to be our target. We're going to target the bottom of this plant and we're just going to rub the gel in there, swirl it around so it's got a nice amount there. And that's all there is to it. We're 
we're going to set it down inside some dirt. Pack the dirt around so it's nice and set in there. You don't want a whole lot of gaps. Okay. So there it is. That's just the basics of cloning. And, you know, and now, um, so like a fruit tree, orange tree, a lemon tree, something like that, that you're really worried about getting the exact fruit. That's what you want to do. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest growing from seeds on a fruit tree or plant like that. Um, same idea on a vine, wisteria vine, grapevine, whatever you want to try here. The bottom node, the one that's facing upwards, the bud, we just want to put a little bit of that rooting hormone on that guy there. All right. And then we can shove it directly into the soil, packing it all around. And there you go. Just make sure the soil's damp. And that's all there is to cloning. You're going to get stuff like this. This is the wisteria vine. Um, let me grab a, uh, be right back guys. I'm going to go grab a willow. This is a couple weeks into it. And you've got another tree growing right here. So there it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. If you guys are looking for an exact copy of your plant, um, especially in the fruit category, lemon trees, orange trees, apple trees, I would definitely take this method and run with it instead of trying to grow from seed and getting the exact uh, tasting fruit because that's not going to happen. So thanks guys for stopping by. I hope this helped you guys out in your cloning endeavors. If you guys want, leave comments down below. Make sure you share the video with friends and I will get to your questions as soon as I can. So thanks again guys. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And until the next video. Thank you.